all know that exceeding the speed limit can be a recipe for disaster. But you don't need to be driving over the limit for it to be unsafe. Changes to weather conditions and road terrain all play a part in road safety. Invisible black ice wrecked havoc as five drivers travelling downhill on Eccleston Road at Riverside lost control this morning. Crash investigators say road conditions were clear at the time of the collision. Drive to the conditions means exactly taking into account the weather conditions, the road conditions, as factors in relation to traffic conditions, how heavy the traffic is in relation to the way you should be driving. On a nice, clear, sunny day on a very good piece of road, you might have a maximum speed limit of 60 and it might be safe to travel at 60. But that same piece of road, when it's wet, uh, rainy, heavy traffic flow, uh, heavy strong winds, uh, it might only be safe to drive at 50 or even 40 kilometres an hour. So people have to take that into account, that the maximum speed for the road is the maximum speed you should be driving in ideal conditions. The Honda motorcycle rider was travelling uphill in thick fog and wet conditions this morning, according to police. Preliminary investigations reveal that the bike may have been on the wrong side of the road at the time of the accident. When a new Norfolk man lost control of his vehicle while navigating a right-hand bend on the Huon Highway about 9 o'clock this morning. I was tried to overcorrect and uh, hit the front of a prime mover and spun off and gone in underneath the truck. Whether you're driving on a dry road, a wet road, driving on a gravel road, in icy conditions, driving in the country or driving in the city. You need to adjust your speed according to conditions. What a lot of people don't take into account in stopping distance is what's called your perception and reaction time as well. At 60 kilometres an hour, you see that hazard, by the time you come to a stop, you're looking around 40 metres from when you identify a hazard to when your car's actually come to a stop. And that's a lot further than what people realise. This car is travelling at 60 kilometres an hour. On Bitumen, it has a stopping distance of 19 metres. The same car, still travelling at 60 kilometres an hour, but on a gravel road, now has a stopping distance of 28 metres. That's nine metres more than before. That's the equivalent of driving at 80 kilometres an hour on the original Bitumen Road. Part of the job in relation to crash investigation, the very frustrating thing is when you arrive at scenes of serious and fatal crashes, you think to yourself, if this person had just been going five or 10 kilometres an hour slower on this road, this crash probably wouldn't have happened. And their family and friends wouldn't be faced with the death or serious injury of a, of a loved one. The next time you see a speed limit sign, don't take it as a challenge. Remember, it's the maximum possible speed you can do in perfect conditions. So please, drive accordingly.